Hey everyone, this is Susie, and um, this here looks like I'm going to be a little bit out of frame. Maybe I can get it here. Uh, anyway, this is my little altered notebook from uh, my altered traveler's notebook from Michaels. Uh, I was going to originally do it in a tan color, but then um, I did find a pink one uh, later at another uh, Michaels, so I went ahead and done it in the pink. This here, I have um, used some Pinterest uh, images, which are the flamingos, and I bought um, some of this really pretty little um, lace from uh, Hobby Lobby, and I have stitched some lace in here, which also came from uh, Hobby Lobby. I have stitched completely around the cover in a light pink. Don't know if you can see that or not, but it is stitched in a light pink. And um, I uh, picked up, these are new, and I don't know how new they are, but I just happened to find them at Michael's. They are Tim's Holt little book rings. Um, they come in uh, different colors in the package. But anyway, how cute are these? They're so small. They're just like the big O-rings, only they're very, very small. And anyway, I picked up some of those. And anyway, that's what I attached this little story uh, metal piece on with. So uh, anyway, I was really, really uh, happy to find these little, these little O-rings here. And then um, on the cover, this is a glassing bag that I have just simply adhered on um, with some of my glue that it really sticks. I have been using this uh, 450 quick dry adhesive and uh, anyway it really has been holding stuff on really really well and uh, anyway this little tag um, just sits in here in the pocket of the glassine bag and I did uh, mosh posh the, the glassine bag as well as the little flamingos and the little book page uh, so that it would be good and sealed and I did stitch around the image there of the flamingo uh, my images of course are off Pinterest is where I have found them so anyway this ended up being a really chunky little book uh, it has two inserts and um, they are really really big but uh, anyway, on the inside, once again, I have stitched this down. This could be used as a pocket here, and uh, but it is stitched in the in the side over here, and it is also stitched in the spine. So um, anyway, I'm going to make sure that I'm kind of in frame before I get started here. Uh, anyway, this is all flamingos, and it's so much fun. I had a ton of fun making this. Uh, I did leave the covers plain so that you could decorate it yourself uh, or if you have a dashboard I know sometimes I don't get real uh, carried away with the decoration of the covers and the traveler's notebooks and also um, sometimes I like to put pockets on them so I have just left the uh, cover itself plain other than I have stitched around the the cover so um, anyway you open it up and uh, all the papers are coffee dyed and stained here is a little flamingo with a uh, mat here so that you could journal on the back. I did use some cheesecloth um, and when I was Hobby Lobby last uh, week when I picked this um, um, oh the fabric and the flamingo fabric and all up I did pick up this little vining oh, it was so pretty this little leaf and that is just so pretty but anyway I did use some of the fabric and then I uh, this is stitched on uh, I do believe it's stitched on um, there, um, or either that I have just glued this on maybe, I, I can't tell by looking. Uh, some of it is stitched on and then some of it is glued on. Um, here is some Seven Gypsies composition paper. Um, I picked up some of these at Michael's. Uh, I picked up the ledger and the composition, this is a composition, this is ledger. Uh, the composition and the ledger paper. Uh, here is another just bag with a little library card in it. 
And then here is a really pretty flamingo here. They had some of the cutest um, images that I had gotten off of uh, Pinterest. But anyway, and then of course the back of the bag is blank. Here is some fabric. And then here's some more of that leaf. This is stitched on. Um, it's just uh, this is a piece of the composition notebook paper here from Seven Gypsies. And here is some ruffled fabric. Um, another little piece of cheesecloth I've just kind of grabbed and sewed on. And then here is a um, bingo. This says bingo. And then uh, here is just a little bit of paper stitched together for journaling there. And it just kind of sits in a, in a pocket there. And then here is just, this isn't really anything. I've just stitched that to the... To the page. This is some more Seven Gypsies uh, paper that I picked up at Michael's along with the composition and the ledger. Um, there were several books of uh, different papers there that I picked up. Here is just some craft paper, um, some more journaling paper. Here is the uh, flamingo uh, fabric. Just checking to make sure I'm still in frame when I move the book. Sometimes when books are tall, uh, it's really hard to keep them in frame. So anyway, here is some flamingo fabric I've just made as a page. Here is some more of that ledger paper. And then some more of the stitching of the leaves. Leaves. And then here I've used corner punch just on some like, composition notebook paper there from Seven Gypsies. And then uh, here is the middle of the signature. Here is a little tip in there that I've put there. Another little piece, and I've just kind of sewed the tab on the top for just decorative, decorative purposes there. And then here is the other piece of the uh, fabric page. Aren't those flamingos just the cutest? Uh, I am getting ready to do another one, and I think I'm going to do it in vintage bicycles. So I've been thinking about that. And also, there's so many of those um, Daphne Diary. Uh, journals coming out where they use the cover. I, I've seen two now. Amity Bloom was one and there was another one. I can't remember who it was by um, that I seen over on Junk Journal Junkies uh, that was just beautiful uh, some time back and I think I'm going to try my hand at one of those. So, uh, And it will be Daphne's Diary. I, I get those magazines and I have for a long time and I'm going to try to chop one up and see what happens. So, Anyway, here is just a little a little journaling card and then of course I've at, sewed that fabric on that. Here is just a little tuck spot once again I've I've sewed the lace and I believe this is glued on. I think I decided to put it on after I already had the fabric on the glassine. This is a glassine bag or this may be a tracing paper bag. Uh, nope I think it's a glassine bag. I can't remember what I put there now. And then uh, this is just another little stitched paper. And it's easier to put this in the bottom, so that's what I've been doing is just kind of putting that in the in the bottom there. This kind of, uh, I think I could have three pockets. There's what I could have. And I've just used two. Uh, here is uh, another little flamingo. It says, we flamingo so well together. thought that was cute. And some more cheesecloth. And uh, here is just a little, this is some of that Seven Gypsies paper. Here's just a little guest check. I've actually uh, stitched all the way around that and then stitched some of the little uh, paper with those, some little leaves there. And then uh, here is a little ledger paper. This is just a bag. And uh, he just sits in there like that. And uh, here's some more. I've just used my decorative punch on this. And that is the first insert. And then here is the second insert, which has the pretty little flamingo there. This is just a place for journaling with some cheesecloth there. This is kind of in a pale... A pale pink or kind of pale peach color. 
And notebook paper there. Here's some more of that ledger paper. Here's some more of my little flamingo. This is that composition paper from Seven Gypsies. Um, anyway, I've used it ruffled there. This is the same uh, as the cover. And the little book page here with a little lace sewn there as a tuck. Here's some of my craft paper. Here I've got this stitch just on the bottom. The little book tab there, the little tab, fabric tab. More stained paper. Here is a little leaf. Little leaves there sewed on. Here is just a little index card for journaling. And it just sits in this little pocket here. Here is some fabric for the page. And then some more ledger paper. Here is a little... Now, I have seen several people do these envelopes. Um, I believe Beth Wallen. I've watched several of her vi uh, uh, videos. And I love her work, by the way. And then Fiona Nobbs. And I hope I said that right. Uh, Nobbins or Nobbs. She also does wonderful work. As a matter of fact, I'll link their um, channels in the description box. But anyway, uh, this is just a little book page that I have made a little envelope out of. Here's that cute little flamingo with some uh, cheesecloth there for his tab. And then here is another little flamingo place for journaling on the back. And they just tuck in right here. And of course the whole book page is, is stitched up to make the pocket. And then this slides in the in the lace to hold the closure shut. And then uh, here is some more little flamingo paper with some uh, copy dyed paper on the back so you could journal uh, on the paper there. And that just tucks in behind the, the envelope. And then here is another tip in with the little flamingo fabric. Um, this is one of my favorite images here. This. Uh, all the flamingos have sunglasses. This is so cute. Just absolutely adorable. Um, here is a little uh, library card. Uh, I did, uh, of course, stamp or stamp, uh, punch the edges there. And here's the other part of that fabric, fabric page. Here is, I seen, um, is it Sagita? Um, uh, coffee stains or I'll, I'll link her channel also but I've seen her do that with some yarn and so I took some cheesecloth and I kind of just wadded up the lighter color and then put some behind it to kind of make like a flower uh, but anyway I'll, I'll link her uh, channel as well uh, here is a little pocket there there's kind of like two little pockets there and then here is another little index card with some paper sewn on it um, this is tracing paper behind it here that I've made a pocket out of. Um, I dug it out. I've been kind of playing with the tracing paper and all, so uh, just some various things. I get so much inspiration from uh, people on YouTube. Uh, they do such wonderful work. Uh, here is Living the Good Life. It is just simply a little, a little tag here. A little space for journaling and then of course some more Seven Gypsies paper there. Uh, the Tim Holtz little clip that I think looks like the old time clips there. And here's another little tab sewn on. Uh, more craft paper. Here's just a little book page that I just kind of, you know, I was just thinking if you were journaling something here, I mean it would kind of look cool with your journaling and then this kind of offsetting it. I just like that. And then uh, here is just very small little journaling journaling places here because this little pocket, because it's at an angle, uh, is not really very big. So this just kind of sets and tucks in there. And then here's some more of that uh, composition notebook paper here. Um, here is some ledger coffee stain and then here is that little flamingo again that I absolutely love. I have just really stitched around him a couple of times 
and then backed him, of course, with some coffee stained paper. And then here is the last page. But anyway, this is, and here is the back uh, side of the of the uh, notebook. But anyway, this is, like I said, it is really a chunky little guy. So um, really had a lot of fun with this. I am going to be listing this on my blog. So uh, anyway, this was just real, real fun. And I hope that you enjoyed watching.